We are here with Jack Siroff, one of Brooklawn's junior golfers, and we've got a drill designed to show you the relationship between the speed and the direction of a putt. First of all, Jack, I'd like you to set up as if the hole were your target. And the problem with that is there's going to be some break that's going to come off of the putter. And notice how Jack pulled his putter to the left to try to compensate for the fact that he was aiming at the hole. Now let's try it aiming at the yellow disc there, Jack. OK, and that one is perfect. Very good, Jack. What we've set up here is a drill that Jack and I do quite a bit. And you notice the other part of this whole setup is the uh, string, which is in a box. And what Jack is trying to do, obviously, make all the putts, which is very good. Good job, Jack. But um, if he were to miss any of these putts, which Jack doesn't seem to want to do right now, we like that. Three in a row, not too bad. But if he were to miss, we'd want the ball to end up in the box. That was pretty good, Jack. <laughs> Keep going. All right, notice Jack made uh, three out of five of those putts, and three out of five were in the zone. Now, one of the things we try to do is if he goes in the zone five times, that's a reward, and he can pick a new putt. By using this drill, you'll be better able to understand the relationship between speed and direction. By practicing it, you'll be able to learn the feel and be a better putter.